Comer for Experience Michiana, and here I am with Lisa Banasewicz, and we are at the kitchen, but we're not cooking cookies, are we? No, we're not. No, but these are guys, some of these guys are out here doing donuts, though. I, I've noticed that. They are cooking. <laughs> they're hot to trot in the kitchen today. Yes, and of course, the kitchen, just so some of you know, Lisa's son, Brett, was a... Well, well, he's world renowned. I mean, he won. Oh, yeah. He won. He won the cream of the crop. He was the the top dog. And oh yeah, um, the Duke Cup, um, Toyota Athlete of the Year. Yeah. He's been in Europe. Um, we have a whole room full of trophies, and was very very proud of him. Proud mom. Moments. Oh yes. Yeah yeah yeah. Yes. Well, this is what's crazy about this whole thing, though. Brett got in a really bad accident. Mm -hmm. uh, he's obviously he's he's coming back. Yes. And he's he's doing his thing, but the the legacy that he's already at his young age, he's only what twenty one. He's twenty one. So what you were telling me is five years ago he built this place. Yes, when he was sixteen. Sixteen years old, the kid comes out. He's like, you know what? We need a we need a big skate park and a bike park for the kids. Mm -hmm. at a, as a kid, he says this. Oh yeah. So where did he come up with this idea to do this? You know, he loves BMX. He's loved BMX since he was a little boy, trying to keep up with his big brother. And we were sitting on my front porch and he said, Mom, these kids have nowhere to ride. And we were transporting Brett back and forth to Muncie because he had nowhere to ride. And he said, I'm so sad. I want a safe place for these kids because these kids were in our street. Mm -hmm. And, I, and um, when he started winning and doing really well, we sat him down and said, what do you want to do? Do you and Dad want to relocate to North Carolina or do you want to build that skate park we've been talking about? Mm. And he said, can we do it? You gonna love it? So he said, "This is your winnings. This is your passion. What do you want to do?" He said, "I want to build a skate park." And I, his dad and I said, "Let's build a skate park." And this is the fifth largest indoor skate park in the world, correct? Yes, it's beautiful. And it is huge. And I just gotta say, you know, kudos to you and the, you know, the entire family. What's the square footage of this place? It's Thirty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-three square feet. That's big. Yeah, That's it's, real it's big. huge. It's a little bit um, bigger than we wanted, but we had to have the high ceilings. His friend, uh, Glenn Selliers, he's not with us any longer. Yeah. Um, he passed this summer uh, from a motorcycle accident, but he designed it. Oh, wow. um, and Brett, his dad, and all his friends built it. We That's didn't have awesome. any construction people other than BMX riders and his dad and our friends. There you go. This is Brett's training facility. And he's also starting to train. Uh, a lot of these riders we're going to see today and tomorrow, they're um, Brett's been their mentor and he's been training. Sure. One thing Brett always wanted to do, one thing we always try to teach our boys is to give back, to be humble. Um, when Brett was international and traveling the world, we kept him on a, on the same plateau. You are still Brett Banasiewicz. You are no better than anyone else. Yeah. And um, don't ever forget where you came That's from. Right. Is there someone else you'd like me to speak to today? Oh, uh, well, there's one very important person so, that I can't... Shall we talk to Brett? Yes, please. So can we go get him? <laughs> we'll go we're, get him. We're going to go get him. Let's we're going to take him. a little tour of the place. Yes, please. Thank you, Lisa, for everything. Thank Well, we caught up with Brett. We had to pull him off his bike, right? Finally. <laughs> Hard to get me off. It is, man. I'm telling you, nothing's going to hold you back. This place is phenomenal, man. I mean, you're what you're doing for all the kids out here, all these riders, if you just think about this, we didn't have anything like this at home. Exactly. And you've got it. It's mind-blowing to you guys. The park is mind-blowing to me that you've never been here. <laughs> I've never, and I've never been on a bike in here, and I don't think we should do that. I don't think, well, I'd need one of those sumo suits. We have a um, rental helmet you can use. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would need the sumo suit. I'm, I'm not sure about full body pads. We can find some. <laughs> Dress me up like a hockey player. <laughs> but this is phenomenal, man. I mean, did you ever see anything like this in your mind when you were a kid before all this happened? I mean, um, you had a vision, you know, didn't you? You know, I did. I started riding when I was six. I got my first bike. I just loved riding, 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 riding. Never thought that anything would come for much less my own skate park. You got your own skate park, yeah. fifth largest in the world, by the way, which is phenomenal, yeah, man. Sure. This is great, and of course, all the all the support from all the the other riders around the community. Great. Yeah, I, I mean, what what would you like to say to to the public as far as you know? Some people may not know about this with their kids just coming in to ride and and maybe wanting to get them involved. I mean, like for. I call it, I like to call it open doors because 
Welcome to all kinds, shapes, sizes, even sports, BMX, skateboard, inline scooters, even. Old, like old 40 year olds? Well, tomorrow there's an old fool's contest. <laughs> old fool's contest, I'll be here. I'm, you know, I'm the poster boy. I can't believe you didn't call me. I could have had my picture on the on the whole poster for you. Man. <laughs> we just want to say thank you so much for having us out thank here, you, man. And, and uh, just we just hey, we just really we want you to say we want to say this. We want to tell you that what you're doing in the community is phenomenal, and what you're doing for the sport is even more phenomenal. Thank you. And just the encouragement that you're giving a lot of kids out here, and and what you've done and what you've been through. We just we just commend you so much, and I don't want to hold you up. I want you to get out there and keep riding and stuff. And we just say the kitchen is a great place to come out and you know defy gravity. Pretty much in the nutshell. <laughs> in the nutshell, that's it. Yeah, Jacob. Bar spin, the turn down. You know, I had an opportunity to go back over to the kitchen and <laughs> hang out with the guys, and Brett was going to let me go down the ramp and hit another ramp and go into the big foam pit. Yes. And I kind of... You forgot. chickened out. Rick Hummer chicken out. Not you, Rick. Oh, my gosh. I didn't Man, I missed off. it. You, oh, of course. They want to show it. Just, yeah, just like, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, anyway, I'd love Brett, to try it, I will it, come though. back. I'll come back over, Brett, I promise. And I'd love to try that, too. Yes. But, you know, one of the things I did get a chance to do yes. is catch up with Andy to find out what's happening in the bin. There you go.